high dark spots emerge. If you've got dark marks appearing on your hands, face, or arms, I want you to pay close attention because here's something most people aren't aware of. Dark spots aren't merely surface deep. They're a sign that you're developing the same type of harm in your brain, your heart, and your lungs. If you're noticing them externally, chances are they're forming internally as well. And despite what people refer to them as age spots, they're not simply a typical aspect of growing older. They're a message. Your body is genuinely attempting to communicate something to you. So today I'm going to explain what those marks truly represent, how they are related to aging internally and externally, and what you can do to naturally eliminate them. Plus, I'll reveal my personal regimen and why, at 75, I still receive praise for my hands and complexion. All right, let's dive in. Most individuals believe dark spots are triggered by sun exposure. And yes, sunlight does contribute, but it's not the entire picture, and it's certainly not the primary cause behind their appearance. Part 2. Popular Misconceptions and Actual Cause Popular Misconceptions About Age Spots Because here's what's genuinely occurring. Dark spots are an outward indication of something much larger, a mechanism known as fibrosis. Fibrosis occurs when tissues throughout your body, like your heart, lungs, and even skin, begin to harden and form scars over time. This rigidity makes it more difficult for your organs to perform as they should. For instance, in the heart, fibrosis can stop the muscle from properly relaxing between beats, that's called diastolic dysfunction, and it's extremely frequent as we age. In the lungs, fibrosis restricts your ability to take a full breath. That's identified as pulmonary fibrosis, and it can develop silently without noticeable symptoms. Now here's the link. The same process that generates stiffness in your heart and lungs also occurs in your skin. So when you notice dark spots developing, it's not merely superficial pigmentation. It's an evident alert of tissue damage that could be influencing your entire body long before you sense it. Part 3. The True Offender Glycation. So the genuine offender is a process termed glycation. This happens when sugar molecules in your system attach to proteins, particularly when heat is involved, creating sticky compounds called ages or advanced glycation end products. These ages deteriorate collagen, harden tissues, and accelerate visible aging, including wrinkles and dark spots. And these very ages also manifest in rigid heart tissue and impaired lungs. So once again, this isn't solely about your skin. Glycation impacts your entire body. Part 4. What intensifies glycation? Now, what makes glycation intensify? Most people understand that sugar plays a role in the issue, but what they fail to recognize is that protein is the other side of the formula. In truth, glycation necessitates both sugar and protein to occur. So even meals that appear wholesome, like grilled chicken with a sweet glaze or a protein bar containing sugar alcohols, can form an ideal situation for AG creation, particularly when cooked at elevated temperatures. Grilling, toasting, roasting, all of these greatly amplify these substances. So, what are some of the biggest culprits? Well, charred or burnt meat, that crispy layer on your steak, contains advanced glycation and products. And when you consume those ages, your body actually absorbs them. Another major offender is toast and grilled sandwiches. Just keep in mind that sweet glazes and barbecue sausages that are cooked on the grill mean you're eating advanced glycation end products with that food. Processed, high-protein snacks or extremely large quantities of protein powder also generate advanced glycation end products. Part 5. How Contemporary Protein Practices Add to the Problem Now here's the issue. In the old days, you didn't drink protein shakes or munch on a protein bar. You ate an animal or plant containing natural protein. It actually requires a considerable amount of energy and digestion to break down that protein. You burn about 30% of all the calories in a protein-based meal during digestion, and that's one reason protein can assist in weight loss. But when you suddenly consume protein that's been pre-broken into its separate amino acids, that protein rushes into your bloodstream. Instead of slowly trickling down so your mitochondria can utilize it for energy, they get overloaded. It becomes rush hour in your mitochondria. When mitochondria can't convert all that protein into energy, ADP, they switch gears and start storing it as fat. Part 6. Foods that can exacerbate pigmentation. Now here's something intriguing I've observed repeatedly in my practice. Patients who eat more plant-derived proteins, such as lentils, nuts, and hemp, generally show much lower levels of IGF-1 or insulin-like growth factor. Why is that beneficial? 
It turns out that super agers, individuals who live well into their late 90s or even hundreds, exhibit very low levels of insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1. Unfortunately, elevated IGF-1 levels are tied to faster aging, tissue overgrowth, and increased dark spots. That's because plant proteins differ in their amino acid composition. Interestingly, they don't elevate IGF-1 the way animal proteins do, and they're less prone to promote glycation especially when cooked gently, such as steaming vegetables or animal proteins. For example, the Japanese often steam their fish, chicken, and vegetables. Now, I'm not suggesting everyone must completely eliminate animal protein, but if you're dealing with dark spots or concerned about internal health, cutting back on meat and incorporating more plant-based options can make a real difference. Part 7. Actionable Guidance So if you wish to diminish dark spots and decelerate the aging process inside and out, here's what I suggest. Add more plant-based protein to your meals. Reduce sugar and surplus protein intake. The average American consumes twice the advised amount of protein from food alone, double the recommended quantity. We are excessively protein-loaded. Steer clear of high-heat cooking, and instead try steaming, roasting at lower temperatures, or indirect grilling. Consume polyphenol-rich foods daily, whether it's seasonal berries, pomegranates, extra virgin olive oil, or even dark chocolate. Use a pure, mineral-based sunscreen. Take time-release vitamin C twice per day. Prioritize gut health, since skin wellness originates in the gut. Eat foods that nourish your good gut bacteria, like fermented and prebiotic-rich foods such as chicory, while avoiding inflammatory items like refined grains and nitrates. Part 8. Dr. Gundry's Personal Journey and Patient Cases All right, let's review some of the common questions I receive frequently. Dr. Gundry, how do you maintain your hands looking so youthful? Now, the hands are one of the earliest areas where dark spots appear. My hands didn't always look this way. It took around one year to eliminate the dark spots after I followed my eating plan. This list is freely available at GundryMD and drgundry.com. Mainly, I stopped adhering to a low-fat diet. I never go a day without olive oil, avocado, or pistachios. I concentrated on doing all the things I just suggested consuming polyphenol-rich foods, cutting down sugar, avoiding overcooked proteins, and nurturing my gut bacteria. Everything originates in the gut. But here's the truth. Even with all my knowledge, I'm still exposed to sunlight and oxidative stress, just like everyone else. Let me share a story about one of my patients. Two of my patients, both in their late 70s from Oregon, often travel like many people from Washington and Oregon, bringing their RVs to Palm Springs for the winter. Great decision. The first year we met, this patient's hands were covered with dark spots. They returned to Oregon and were driving back to Palm Springs the following winter in their RV. His wife suddenly looked at him and said, You know, George, look at your hands. George had his hands on the steering wheel like this, then lifted them to see, and nearly drove off the road. Why was she shouting for him to look? Because his dark spots had disappeared. When they came back to my office, number one, his dark spots on his hands were completely gone, and they shared the almost dangerous but funny story of how he discovered how good he looked. He'd been following the program, and it worked. Part 9. Topical Remedies and Product Application So, do I personally use a product on my skin? Yes. It's called Dark Spot Diminisher, and yes, it's my own. But unlike most treatments that merely lighten the skin, this one is filled with polyphenol-rich plant extracts. I once had several dark spots on my hands, now I'm down to one that's barely visible. I have none on the other hand. Why? Because I eat to erase dark spots. I eat to stop dark spots. And for any stubborn ones, I apply dark spot diminisher. Part 10 Melasma and White Spots Clarified Now, here are more questions I often get. Is melasma identical to these dark spots? Is it fixed in the same manner? No, melasma isn't identical but it's actually corrected in the exact same way. I've had numerous patients, including a few well-known ones, who managed to ease their melasma simply by following a healthy eating plan. Melasma is once again an indication that you have insulin resistance and metabolic inflexibility. It's just another visible warning on your skin that something inside your body is seriously off balance. Another question, does red light therapy help? Well, I'm quite a fan of some of the red light therapy masks that are on market. What about white spots instead of dark ones? White spots are actually a lack of pigment, and there can be two causes for that lack. One is the more serious one, vitiligo. Michael Jackson suffered from vitiligo. Vitiligo is an autoimmune condition where your melanin-producing cells are attacked by your immune system. 
The good news is, I've seen plenty of patients with vitiligo, and we've been able to reverse it through my program. The other cause of white spots is a mild fungal infection called tinea versicolor. You can treat it with topical antifungal creams that eliminate the fungus, but the downside is that the white spots stay throughout the winter until you're back in the sun the following year, then they fade. Part 11. Healthier Cooking Methods and Final Thoughts Question. What are healthier ways to cook on the grill? Well, I never cook directly over the coals or open flames. I always cook indirectly so that nothing I make gets charred, and that's a simple yet effective start. All right, here's the key takeaway. Dark spots aren't merely a sign of aging. They're a signal of internal harm. What's visible on your skin could just as easily be occurring in your heart, your lungs, or even your brain. So if you notice those spots appearing, don't simply conceal them. Treat them as a message to take meaningful action. If you found this video useful, you're going to enjoy the next one. You already know how passionate I am about these powerful molecules. They can genuinely enhance your health, especially when it comes to your gut. That's it for today's video. Now it's your turn. And hey, if this video was helpful, please type yes in the comment box that one word might seem small, but it seriously motivates us to keep creating more science back health content. Just like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Already your support means everything. Naturally, thanks for watching, and as always take care of your don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Your comments are very valuable. To us, please make a small comment. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Your comments are very valuable to us. Please make a small comment.